My name is Jonathan DeHaan. I am the Community Gardening Coordinator for Dwelling Place. Sometimes I go to two or three gardens a day, but wherever I go, I try to take my time and spend enough time to really engage with the property and the garden and get to know it on a personal level. So the goal of the community gardening program is really to combat isolation. It's to get residents engaging with each other, engaging with their property, engaging the space that they live in. But it's a lot more than that. It's about fresh food access. It's about leadership. It's about beautifying the landscape and having a garden space, a communal space to come together and meet each other, exchange ideas, produce, and otherwise engage in, in a positive way. Another one of the goals of the garden is getting residents access to fresh, healthy fruits and vegetables. And that's especially needed in a lot of our urban environments these days. The knowledge of how to grow and growing is disappearing and knowledge is power and the plants have a lot to teach us. My name is Cassandra Patterson. I live in Peterland's Apartments and I'm in Peterland Apartments Community Garden. Our goal is to have vegetables and products for the community. It's not just for our apartment complex. We want our people to be healthy, healthy eating. We have people from other Apartments come in and help, and they help plant it, they help water, they help pick, and I'm pretty sure they enjoy to eat, <laughs> you know? The year that I moved here is when we started the garden. They had a little area with flowers, and we just turned it into a garden for the community. I can recall that when I first got into gardening with Jonathan, I was a little, wasn't in particular into dirt, digging holes and bugs. So now, since I'm, I have done it for a little time, I appreciate a little bug here and there. One unique aspect of the Peterlin Garden is that the Peterlin building only has six residents. So Cassandra actively tried to recruit folks from other buildings and other properties to come and, and be a part of the garden. When we have had an excess of produce there, she's really excited to, to share that. I feel ours is more open to the public. So we have people walking by, grabbing a tomato, grabbing a cucumber. We have our neighbors coming and picking our plants, our flowers. It's really nice. It really feels good. So this is the Midtown Garden that you see right here. This is a really a special place. This garden has been here for almost 10 years and it has, like many of uh, the Dwelling Place Gardens, it has very humble origins. This garden has had a remarkable transformation over the past 10 years. It started as just a small, little space, people started planting flowers around the utility box to beautify that little space and kind of hide some of its ostentatiousness. And over the years, gardeners have slowly started taking back some of the grassy areas and slowly adding their own flowers. One of the funnest things in my job is to find what residents are passionate about and share that passion with them. The garden can be so many different things for different people. Some folks are really passionate about vegetables and growing as many as they can. Some people really get into herbs and all of their uses. There are folks who love flowers and want to grow as many uh, flowers for bouquets as possible. It's fun to come alongside a resident and I tell them I'll meet you halfway. I like to meet them where they're at and help them realize their dreams and capabilities and it's inspiring. <laughs>